Good evening, Colorado. Taking you outside again. This is your Ab Eye Care camera on Powers and Woodman as the sun is just peeking out for the sunset tonight. And it was a windy one out there today. Most of our high temperatures peaked in the upper 30s and low 40s. And with the winds, uh, we are max gust was at 40 miles an hour so it really didn't feel all that warm out there today in colorado springs low 60s in springfield so baca county prowers county bent county all of you folks that were under red flag warnings through the day today those have expired about uh, 18 minutes ago at five o'clock and the high wind warnings that were in effect in walsenburg alamosa and trinidad those have also expired still pretty breezy out there with temperatures in the 40s and low 50s but you're not quite meeting the high wind warning criteria anymore in those spots 37 degrees for the springs 27 in monument hill pretty typical setup for us temperature wise 12 degrees in wilkerson passes it just up Updates to 10 degrees. So wind speeds, these are all sustained winds. We're gusting to about 30 miles an hour right now in the springs. Uh, 30 mile an hour sustained winds on Highway 24. Uh, 30 miles an hour in Fremont County as well. I give it a couple hours and then most of our winds should retreat. Uh, we should get down to about 10 to 15 miles an hour by 8 p.m. in Colorado Springs. The winds will hang on a bit longer in the south and eastern sides of the state, but uh, still your wind gusts overnight are only looking at about 25, maybe 30 miles an hour in Kit Carson County, Cheyenne County, Los Angeles County. You'll gust to about that 25, 30 mile an hour mark overnight, but by your Sunday forecast, just fine. Uh, calm conditions tomorrow. 14 degrees this evening in Colorado Springs, 19 out in La Junta, 10 degrees in Alamosa, a little cold out in Gunnison and Leadville, but all of us into the teens overnight tonight. And the cold front, which was responsible uh, for the strong winds today, cools us off for tomorrow's forecast, but then by Monday and Tuesday, a nice little ridge builds on in, and we should be getting into the 40s and even uh, into the 60s potentially uh, for Highway 50 residents by Tuesday. I'll show you that in a sec. 43 in the Hunta tomorrow, low 30s in Colorado Springs, so we're actually below average for tomorrow afternoon. Nothing on the radar quite yet, and really the next legitimate chance for uh, precipitation in Colorado Springs, that's coming mid to late week. Uh, I'm thinking Thursday is our best bet for some rain and snow chances on I-25, our next best bet for rain and snow chances. Here's that cold front that pushed on through. Uh, it'll move off to the east relatively quickly, and uh, there is a low that's developing in Arizona and far western New Mexico, bringing some precip up into the mountains of northern New Mexico, but not so much into Colorado for our Sunday afternoon. We're doing just fine little ridge of high pressure in the inner mountain west and keep an eye on this cold front. It should transition just north of Colorado for our midweek forecast. Tuesday, fantastic. Should be 50s and 60s, a little bit of evening cloud coverage, but no precip. And here is that low that develops in Southern California headed our way for our Thursday forecast. So there is your rain and snow chance. Here's your uh, Woodland Park seven day forecast, low 40s uh, for your Monday and then Tuesday closing in on 50 degrees in Teller County uh, for your high temperatures. And here's your Canyon City seven day, 48 degrees Monday, partly cloudy skies on Tuesday, low 60s Wednesday, a rain snow mix on Thursday. As far as snowfall accumulations go, I'm not incredibly optimistic. Uh, this is a pretty warm system, so it looks like we'll be getting some rain showers really. Pueblo at 59 degrees by Tuesday, low 60s on Wednesday. Colorado Colorado Springs. Yellow yeah, 30s tomorrow, but a very comfortable first half of the work week. Guys.